Hey folks, uh, welcome uh, to none other than beautiful Collingwood, Ontario, Canada. Yes, of course, folks, this will be the uh, final and last day of the practice rounds here at the 2009, the second annual Wayne Gretzky uh, Classic uh, Invitational sponsored by Ford to benefit the uh, Wayne Gretzky Charity Foundation, which is part, also part of the PGA Nationwide Tour, I should mention. You have the actual uh, um, Golf Channel and the Nationwide Tour uh, folks here on hand to cover this event. Of course, we picked up our credentials and media passes, uh, as you can see, the Wayne Gretzky Classic presented by Samsung. Of course, here in my left hand, I have a bottle of uh, Wayne Gretzky's Vintage Finest 2007 unoaked Chardonnay uh, Niagara white wine. There are a couple of high profile names already on the list that have been confirmed. Uh, returning for the second year in a row, none other than the Round Mound the round mound rebound, Sir Charles himself, Charles Barkley, we have uh, none other than Mr. Wayne Gretzky himself, the uh, namesake and the uh, the person who put this all together, of course, the great one, uh, number 99. And of course, we have uh, none other than the golden Brett, Brett Hall. Mr. Brett Hall. How are you doing? Nice to see you, Kayvon from Kayvon TV. Hey. Um, I wanted to ask you a few questions, but of course Wayne is in the background and I would love to line up a, a duo interview. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about that? I have no problem with that. Any <laughs> anytime you get lumped up with Wayne, you're okay. <laughs> as long as Mr. Gretzky has no problem. It is his tournament after all. Absolutely. And there is and Look how good he looks. He is fantastic. And his, what, Have you tried his wine yet? Oh, yes, I have. Tell it's, me, how good is this really? Well, I'm a red wine drinker, but I've had both and it's fantastic. Right, I'd love to get a moment of your time whenever yeah. you're ready. Well, I have to be finished with Mr. Hall. He, she I'll wants do. to do a, a duo. Uh, can I get in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have the great one, number oh, 99. keep that wine Mr. Wayne Gretzky, we brought a bottle of your own wine. Yeah. We thought it would be most appropriate. And the Golden Brett. And uh, you're obviously being... How do you know so much hockey being from Australia? England. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah. Um, uh, golf is right. not that alien to me. What's it like being surrounded by great friends and, and the camaraderie? Like, I just had an interview with my favourite ice hockey goaltender Grant Fuhrer yeah, who's the Wayne Gretzky of goaltending yeah he's pretty good and uh, yeah, to have, good. have pretty a bloke like Brett it. here I know you, your dad's what, what is that yeah uh, a bloke a bloke, bloke which is a, a, a man okay um, I didn't know that obviously uh, your father is here today yeah. I had a great interview he's got so many stories oh, oh yeah he talks what's forever a, what's a story you guys can share about not only just your career but your career off the ice what, yeah. what makes it like um you know what? What keeps you going in we, life in general? We don't tell those stories. That's why we're still friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know the greatest part about hockey. Obviously, the hockey's fun, but you know we have great camaraderie off the ice, and you know you get a chance to play with guys as good as him, sure. and as much fun as him. We get to spend time together, come to events like this. Um, it really is enjoyable. So basically, this takes your mind off the stress of being in the coaching ranks oh. and you of course being in the executive ranks yeah. of uh, yeah, it's well, murder yeah. it's murder it's easier being the player yeah you is. don't want to be in coaching <laughs> or management playing <laughs> is the easiest way well obviously you you do a lot and of course you do you have you you're a merchandising machine mm -hmm. you have your own wines you have your own um the clothing line at the bay uh i cut uh, pretty good but yeah. in all seriousness um i've got to ask you because there's uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge ice hockey yeah. fan First and foremost, I'm from Toronto, but my favourite team was the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, my favourite yeah. ice hockey player is actually a guy you played with, Who? none other than Mr. Uh, Glenn Anderson. Oh, he was a pretty good player. And, you know, he, he was a great player, and we've had a lot of great years, and we won uh, championships, and you know that's what it's all about. And we didn't play in those days to get our numbers raised to the Raptors. Sure. We played because we loved it, and that's just kind of icing yeah. on the cake. So we all enjoyed it. Byproduct of the fun. You know, I was over in London. I went and saw Led Zeppelin when they reunited. You've, at the O2? Yeah, it was fantastic. Speaking of that, uh, Michael Jackson, what are your thoughts on oh, him? He knows every song by every rock and roll band in the world. You name any Only song, classic he, rock and he roll can roll tell you who was the Queen. singer. Queen, you're my best friend. There you oh go. my god! <laughs> um, it's funny. You're both from hockey families. Your uh, uncle was a player. Yeah, and my dad. Your dad, yeah. of course, and your um, your your brothers played. Yeah. You know what? I think that's what we knew. That's what you know when you grow up. And um, I was saying that yesterday that people don't realize uh, the pressure that he was under because his dad was such a Hall of Famer. Absolutely. And when you're 16, 17, it's hard for kids. And so for him to go on to his career and go in the Hall of Fame is pretty special. And you wound up in Phoenix in the end, and they unretired your dad's number. What was that like? And to play under Wayne? That was it. Was <laughs> it was great? <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the only guys ever to play with him, and against him, him, and for him. 
Look at that. See that trivia? That's quite the distinction. Now, are you both looking forward to the 2010 Olympics? You with the USA hockey, of course, you with I'm Team just Canada. Gonna, I'm just going to watch. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go we're gonna, and enjoy We're going to watch from yeah. uh, a beach Far. somewhere, yeah. both of us. <laughs> we're just going to enjoy the games. Well, let me tell you, it's been a high honor and a true tremendous privilege. Thank this you. is one of the greatest interviews I've ever done. Thank the you. great one, number 99, Wayne Gretzky, global ambassador of the game. The golden Brett, Mr. Brett Hall. And uh, before you go quickly, can you, um, we just want to do a quick plug. Just say, uh, hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky. Hi, I'm Brett Hall, the golden jet, the great one. Uh, this is Cave On. I'm Cave On. Okay. And you are watching Cave On TV to my cameras. Over All right. I'm Wayne take Gretzky, and uh, you're watching Cave On. Live. I am Brett Hall, and you're watching Cave On on Cave On TV. Oh, he's a natural. There we go. Cheers. There you have it. Cave On, congratulations. Thank you very much.